Bienvenue. Welcome to this very special episode in which we will honor our first ever Enigma champions, Mademoiselle Lucia Giura and Monsieur Renato Silva. Before they get all deserved attention, let us just review what has happened in these last two to three months. gentlemen, without further ado, the interview. Please introduce yourself. Hi guys, my name is Lucia. I'm 27 years old. I live in Portugal and we chose the video interview because we're not actually in the same country, so this makes it easier. Hi guys, my name is Renato Silva. I'm 26 years old. I'm living in Paris for five years now. I'm a chef. And this is our interview. How did you find out about Enigma? Well, Enigma, uh, well, my, my closest friend uh, is the producer and creator of Enigma. Uh, so I'm, uh, I'm with Enigma since day one, step one. So, uh, but I, wanna, I wanted to be a part of Enigma on the player side. So uh, I waited until he launched the, the first season to start playing. That's how I know about Enigma. Um, I was a fan of Enigma from day one as well, because uh, the producer is one of my best friends. Uh, I wanted to be part of it straight away. I think it's a great initiative. So as soon as he launched, I was all over Enigma world. Please tell us how the process of looking for Enigmas went. Well, if I were to describe it in three words, I would say that it was entertaining, challenging, especially fun. Uh, I love the fact that we were able to do it as a group friend. I mean, we would get together, we would do enigmas after uh, dinners, maybe a bottle of wine or two. Um, it was really good. It was really fun. Uh, I think everyone involved had a great time it was such a great experience and i can't wait to do it again actually yeah true uh, it was uh, very challenging and uh and uh it was very nice uh actually uh i started doing enigma by myself uh and then i went back to portugal on vacation and start doing uh, with lucia a couple more friends uh, after after uh, after dinner, after a few drinks, we we used to get together on those summer nights. It was awesome. Uh, plus uh, the mystery of Enigma and the discovering of uh, of this this lovely loveling city Paris. It's it's awesome. It's just awesome. And the get together in France and resolving the mystery of of Enigma and the, and finding the treasure. It's a plus. It's awesome. What were some of your favorite riddles? Were there some you did not like? Difficult ones, maybe? So my favorite episodes, well, my favorite episodes were actually the first ones. Uh, in the first episode, I really loved finding the name of the streets. So in the first episode, he said he lived in the same street at, at, as, uh, as this artist. So uh, we had we had to find which artist it what it is is was pretty nice. I love that one. But my favorite one was the Gavo, which was uh, he had a piano factory, and around the the factory there was like streets, and he named his streets after her daughters, and that was pretty sweet. I don't know. I just really loved that one. Um, was pretty nice, and the toughest one for me. I didn't figure out myself uh, was the the last episodes where uh, you needed to find the cross between 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 points in the map. That was a very hard one, and I couldn't figure out that one. Thanks, Lucia, by the way. 
but yeah, that uh, that's uh, that's my favorite and not favorite part of Enigma. Well, I'll have to disagree with Renato. In my case, the first one was definitely the hardest for me. Um, I mean, I couldn't have done it without his help, so that that was good. Thank you, Grumpy. Uh, also, uh, my favorite was I have a couple of favorites, but the epic one was the last one. Um, we had to figure out like there were four dots on a map, correct? We had to cross them. One of them, the expo, was far away from the other, so that's maybe why it was challenging. But after you got the four points together, like everything else just unfolded for itself, and it was great. The genius part about the um, Instagram posts as well, um, Sir Kai made um, Instagram post with Jean Paris, Sir, Sir Kai, and Wolfgang playing cards and one of the cards which were, they were like five cards and four of them were nines and there were like one that had read between the nines and then after that it was read between the nines it was actually the 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 whole sentence that we needed so it was a thrilling moment i loved it uh one of the other favorites i had was i think it was the second video if i'm not not, if I'm not mistaken the second or the third video um about when Jean Paris talks about his girlfriend and the way you would get to know that her name was Iris you would have to go to Instagram account the Enigma Instagram account and you would see that there would only be one following so that other Instagram it would give you the name of the of this young girl and it was just fun and you have to be this is my advice you have to be aware of little details on the instagram accounts on the youtube descriptions all of that counts to be able to find the clues so yeah <laughs> tell us about the winning moments the breakthroughs well the winning moments are awesome you really feel accomplished because enigma is not that simple you need to research you need to 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 apply yourself to the to the, the the videos you know you have to give time to figure out you need really research so when you find out it's really awesome it's really like uh, you feel accomplished when you find out uh, especially like uh, you are with your friends or even if you're alone like uh, when you figure out the clue you feel really really awesome really nice uh, especially sometimes uh, we couldn't figure it out because uh, we it was already late and we were already tired because we already like figure out three or five clues or five letters, and uh, we said no, let's 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 finish for tonight. We will reset tomorrow, and the day after that, we were fresh, so we could find easier. But uh, but it's very it's a really good feeling when you when you find out the the letters, no doubt. Winning moment was exhilarating for sure. Uh, you know when you're trying to figure out something or reach a goal and you actually get it, it you get that joy inside your chest. You just want to like scream. That was it for me. Uh, oh my gosh, I still have goosebumps thinking about it. And I remember being in bed. I was doing this because Renato and I we did it together for a little while, and then we had he had to go back to Paris, so we tried to do it via internet. And sometimes we would try to figure out some clues by ourselves and then share it as a team. Uh, and that's was exactly what happened. Like uh, I found it, and then like I couldn't stop doing it. But then we got to the moment of the truth. And I immediately started, it was actually pretty late for Renato, and I immediately started like texting and calling. I'm like, Renato, pick up, please. Like, we have to talk. Yes. And then we celebrated. So it was definitely a memorable moment for me. What profile do you imagine when you think about your fellow seekers? So the seekers of Enigma. Well, uh, I think uh, for uh, Enigma seekers, we, we have all kinds of people. I imagine uh, maybe a few geeks. I mean, you need to be, you need to like to be in front of a screen somehow. But instead of like watching Netflix or something, you can do it naked. So I imagine like by yourself, I did by myself. I did do it with friends, group of friends. Uh, if instead of like playing board games or something, you can like play with Enigma, which is pretty awesome too. You know, everybody doing the research and all. 
or a uh, few families maybe like uh sunday night with your family which is uh which is pretty cool too um and that's it that's the kind of people i imagine doing enigma my fellow seekers, I would picture them as, I mean, I think they have to be motivated people because as the game said, this is not for the unworthy ones. So definitely motivated people, uh, someone that enjoys being a cultural person, um, someone that, I don't know, maybe finds interest in something other than just scrolling on Instagram or watching Netflix. Uh, I think that has to be someone that likes to occupy their minds with um, some culture as well. So, yeah, smart people, I would say. Tell us about the reward you chose. The reward, the best part, right? Getting paid. Uh, so, um, well, the reward we choose, the, um, since Lucia and I, we team up. Uh, and since Lucia is coming to Paris in November, which will be a time where a tennis tournament will take place. We choose uh, a tennis tickets. Since we play tennis, we both play tennis, we both love tennis. Uh, so uh, we both take, uh, took the, um, the tickets tennis so we can enjoy tennis, both of us. It's the best, the best choice, I think. Yeah, I mean, definitely it was the, a great fit for us. Um, one, because as Renato said, we both love tennis, so it was a great choice. I mean, to be honest, if it was just me, maybe I would have gone for the shoes. Women. But... <laughs> Women, that's true. Um, but now that it's like we want to share the prize, uh, I think the tennis tournament was a great fit for us. And I get to go to Paris. I mean, if that does, it's not great, I, I don't know what is. <laughs> Is there anything else you would like to share with us? Um, I would like to motivate more people to join our Enigma world. I think uh, it's such a great way to learn new stuff. It's uh, in a safe, fun way. Um, I mean, you get rewards out of it, which die doesn't get any better than that. So for me, that's the best part. <laughs> uh, also, I would like to send my appreciation to Jean Paris. He's became he's become such a special person for me. So a big kiss to you, Jean Paris. <laughs> um, yeah, I invite everyone to join Enigma. Uh, it's a very nice way to spend your time because you can learn about Paris. Uh, myself, I'm living here for five years now, and I uh, am still learning about it. I learned a lot only in season one. Uh, so you can learn about too. It's an awesome city. It's a mysterious city. And if you love the mystery, uh, get a few friends together or yourself or your family and let's all do Enigma. All right. Uh, and I want to give uh, my shout out to Luisa Melu, which is our friend. She helped us a lot too in, uh, in season one. Thank you, Luisa. And uh, Jean Paris, uh, you're doing a very nice job. You're a very good actor. Love the ad slot. It's pretty cool. And uh, keep the good work, all right? Bye, guys. Kisses. Thank you, Lucia. Thank you, Renato. Thank you, everyone out there who's following and playing. I see you soon for the second treasure. Goodbye.